Isa Bay bike shop. This is the mosque I visited yesterday after I had walked up through the pit bazaar. We're looking over the flower stalls of the pit bazaar. I'll pan back across the pit bazaar. We'll go up and see that mosque a little bit later. And there's Millennium Cross, which I'll go up to at some point in time. There are little girls like this that are look like little blonde American girls. Here I'm looking back across the freeway at Issa Bay Mosque on the left and the Clock Tower and Sultan Murat Mosque. And as I walk further north there's a Catholic church or I mean a Christian church on the right and a mosque on the left I'll explore. Here's another mosque unless I mistook this mosque for the Christian church. There are services inside. This looks like a very popular mosque. But the number of shoes that are stacked and the fact that they even have shelves for them. Obviously been restored. Uses an interesting pattern. A little bit different than what we've seen. Of this, whatever, this kind of, I think it's a limestone. And then it has these pretty little window details. Much nicer than it's used. Walking down this narrow back street just because it's, I'm hoping that I can find anything that's Interesting. I got a salam alaikum from someone, which I returned the same. It's the first I've had of that. Yep. Which is an irony since it's only a couple of blocks away from the pit bazaar, but it probably functions like a mini mart. We're going to look at the mosque from behind, although I think that may be maybe a side or entrance, not the front. A little bit of detail, but not much in the way of color there. I was standing up on an outside rock, outside the wall photographing, and a man stopped and pointed to the entrance here and encouraged me to use the entrance to come inside, so I am a very friendly gesture. There's something interesting, an old remnant. Here, one of these interesting <coughs> headstones. A little bit of exterior design, and even more so on this minaret. And it's kind of pretty in the sense that, in its simplicity, it has sides to it rather than just completely round. And a little bit of color up on top. I don't know if this is the simple entrance or not. It doesn't appear to be. Although that is a place for shoes. The enclosure's wood is very old with the patina. Although the doors are new. And I think the rugs are also. But of course this is the outstanding entrance. This is a very pretty place. There the evolution evolution. Uh, kiosk or whatever I should call that, gazebo really. <laughs> Some men sitting in there chatting. And of course praying can go on outside as well as inside. An old man graciously stopped, shook my hand, we tried to communicate, <clears throat> neither speaking the other's language. So this is very welcoming. See the rugs there before those indentations facing the east. A very comfortable place for men to gather and chat. Women know. Particularly in these times of rough, depressing economics and politics for these people. Here are the old walls, the only hint of the past really and that artifact. These are always nice refuges in the middle of the city, at the very least. Evolution. wonder what that stone was for. It's probably a very much a local neighborhood. Mosque, you wonder if there are different sex or if there's some nuance of the philosophy here that draws people to it with those same defensive windows.
a pretty large pulpit portion of that minaret. This looks like a very old house complex. We've got some last scarves looking at. Again, they look all pretty much the same. The finial looks different on top, like almost brand new. Here, relatively simple window treatment. But this is interesting because it looks like stained glass. Again, notice up there in the wi there's a window panel. That's the first time I think I've seen that. Again, these finials look like they're brand new, and the whole building looks like it's been either recently restored or certainly maintained well, except for that specific corner. Almost looks as though it might have intentionally been left that way. Here, pretty gazebo. There's a pretty colored stone in this column. Pinks and greens. And here you have a very good description of how these older buildings we saw in Ohrid probably at one time were finished off. And here, if you look at the edging, you can see that they've intentionally left this portion exposed. And here a little bit of the detail on the top of this corner column. So I could be right where you see that Muslim half moon with a star. And this street right here could be this yellow one. But I don't really have a clue because there's no way to tell. Even if it was written, it's not written in the same words and language as or alphabet as the uh, map. <clears throat> so I just came off that last street, did 180 onto this uh, larger boulevard here, which I think may be the boulevard that runs alongside the Pit Bazaar and back to my hospital. And this so it isn't because I planned it. This large store of chandeliers just attracted my attention. Fortunately for Tendinari, I found Flomax Refuge in that toilet. Again at that mosque just north of uh, the Pit Bazaar, I noticed this detail I wanted to pick up on. And I'm not sure, I can't remember what this building is for. Probably the area of the old bazaar, well, one form of it at least. <clears throat> These stones would perhaps suggest improve that. Maybe even that old building there. You can see it's undergoing an infrastructure upgrade. And maybe they're going to put in lights, which would turn it into a night bazaar, which would, you would hope, dramatically increase its popularity and draw from tourists. Here's an old building, but I don't know what it is. It's uh, somehow related to UNESCO. Whatever hydraulic stoppers are, they're a quaint little area. There's not very many left in that. And this may not even be that old. But these may be some of the few survivors of the earthquake. <laughs> Dominoes, popular in Macedonia and in Albania. But notice how little or no care is given to these gravestones uh, or the graves underneath them being more definitively marked. And I'm not ridiculing, I'm just pointing it out. Notice also the relief for that central pattern. Not to mention the incredibly strong window protection. Now what was this that it's preserved still and was fairly massive? If you look at the bulk of that that remains, um, there we can see the detail of some arches. There. And yet still a great mass. So a little prelude to where I'm going. 
There's the mosque uh, to the, at the very north of the pit bazaar, and it's the mosque in the back that I'm going to my negotiate to. Everywhere you go, there are mosques. There's one ahead, and there's one there, and I'm not sure which one it was I was trying to get to, but I'm going this one first, and I'll hang view down a small alleyway. Maybe reflects the last of the old 